34 days to go, Northern Youth alleged plot to stop Tinubu's inauguration. Northern Youth, they don't shout out to they shout to. They say some people won't stop the inauguration. They wait, say, we say that they wait for those people. He said that they wait. He says here yeah, that they wait. He said those people, eh, they go see their self. They never know what they what he hit them. So he said 24 days to election. You won't you won't cause say one thing do one thing. He said, no way. Now the northern you they talk, so he said no way. He said, because they go fight those people, that person with everything they've got. He said 24 days, and you say you yeah, they go they will say no way. He said, What? No way. Somebody say no way, he say no way. You know, so now what did they happen be this? Now we say, we we'll say, maybe we bring you up to speed, though. With everything where they go on right now, as the not time you'd say, we we'll say, they go stand, but they're not go let anything go against, you know, the right thing. Say they go stand for what they right. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. 24 days to go. Northern Youth alleged plot to stop Tinubu's inauguration. Northern Youth, under the Alliance of Arewa Youth Assembly, have asked the Inspector General of Police and the Director General of the Directorate of State Services, DSS, to order the immediate arrest of the President of Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, Comrade Joe, over alleged plans to scatter the inauguration of President of President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Addressing a press conference at Arewa House, Kaduna yesterday, spokesman of the group, Ali Yu Ahmed, accused Ajore of working with the outlawed indigenous people of Biafra to, to actualize his presidential bid of Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate at all costs, and not Tinubu, who was declared winner by the election that took place on February the 25th. The NLC president has, however, dismissed the allegation, describing it as a cheap blackmail. In its petition, the Arewa youth also accused comrades Ajero of using the NLC as a platform to promote the Biafra agenda and the indigenous people of Biafra and corruption in the country. We also accuse him of corruption. He and his secretary general received one, one, bull, one bulletproof SUV car, each worth one billion to sabotage the planned workers' strike against the cashless policy of the Apex Bank. We regard we regret that this is the first time in history the NLC that has two people from one ethnic group are occupying the office of the president, Joe Aguero from Imo State and the Secretary General Emmanuel from Abia State at the same time. Hence it is easy for them to prosecute the Biafra agenda. In the petition, we have drawn the attention of the security agencies to open threat to open threats of Ajero to scatter the inauguration of the president-elect. We are watching and we are waiting for them. They will, they will get our response appropriately. We are waiting patiently to see how they will carry this out. We are also making all necessary plans to ensure that none of this happen. We are making, we are making the we are making the security agencies, the army, the police, all aware of the plans of these people to bring in Peter Obi through the back door. I don't think anybody is trying to bring Peter Obi through the back door. I don't want to think so. Peter Obi participated in the election and came third. And I don't think Peter Obi, there is no Southeast agenda. This is me personally because we've been following this from the very inception. You know, him joining Labour Party and everything from me and all that. It's, it told Nigerians clean, clear. So those trying to bring ethnic and tribalism here, I don't think it is the right. I don't think, I think you're very wrong in trying to promote that. That's not, that's not the agenda. No, no. Tribalism is not, Peter will be said, don't vote for me because I'm an Igbo man. Don't vote for me because I'm your brother. Don't vote for me because I'm a Christian. Don't use, don't vote, don't, you see, if that is the criteria, then don't vote for me. 
He said, vote for me because you feel I am competent. You see, I have a vision and you think I could actually, you know, make a difference with Nigeria. So uh, the Arewa youth are saying uh, that um, they have studied it and that they can pick or they perceive very strongly that there are persons and people who want to sabotage the inauguration. A lot of words have been coming out about this inauguration, that there is some planned sabotage, which have not really been, you know, be, be vividly exposed to all that we really all know. So this is what is happening. And this is why, you know, every single one of us are wondering, and we're asking ourselves the same questions again and again. So Nigerians, it is up to every one of us to ensure that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we get to where we need to be as a nation. You know, uh, there are still cases in court. If this election is to take place, if this inaugural let it take place, the, the does not stop. If, for instance, court now says, oh, this person is going, it does not stop anything. It doesn't stop anything because we saw in Imo State what happened. Hope, um, Emeka has already, you know, started work. In fact, already appointing people until the Supreme Court says he was not the one. So there should be no cause for alarm. And anybody who is trying so desperately to do something other than what is on ground, it's called desperation. You know, I don't personally think there is any sabotage and there is any uh, Southeast agenda. I don't think so. Even in this case now, the blind can see. This is Nigeria. We are here and we all know exactly what is happening. In Nigeria today, even the blind can see. With all that is happening in our political terrain, excuse me, even the blind can see. You know, so these are some of the things that are happening and why we cannot afford, okay, to be quiet and allow things that are not right to take over our nation. We all must stand on the pedestal of truth and ensure that the right things are being done so that we can truly move forward. Now they are blaming the NLC, I mean, National Labour Congress. This uh, is all labor. He's in labor party, you know. So we wait patiently, yeah, and at the end of the day, we will all get, you know, to the very bottom to see exactly what is happening and we get to understand, you know, where all these things are coming from. Nigerians, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is and we want the truth to be manifested so that this nation can move forward. We've been here for, for a while now and we need to advance. We need to, take, we need to take this country to the next level. Enough of the hanking package. We want honesty, sincerity and truth. We want this nation to become what it needs to be. Yes. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now.